Hello everyone, I am 3D Hero, and today I'm going to be showing off the Mark 44 hand cannon, a new forsaken weapon, make return from the classical version of Destiny 1. The Duke 44 hand cannon is a classical but new weapon, making a return in being a legendary raid version with random rolls built into it. You can get this weapon through any activity in the world, being completing strikes, nightfalls, day hero missions, or crucible. Anything. Now, it's a 110 RPM hand cannon that fires at a relatively slow speed, but makes it up with its high impact damage, which is a 3 shot killer in PvP, once you land a headshot and 2 body shots. Now, in PvE, it varies between different enemy types, with lower to mid tier red health enemies needing at least 1 to 2 headshots, and high level enemies, such as the Fallen Captain, needing around 3 to 4 plus headshots to kill. So, its base stats now are as followed. Range 72, Stability 41, Handling 40, Reload Speed 50, Aim Assist 64, Recoil Direction 90, and Zoom 9. Now in the scope tree, I have Hit Mark HCS with slightly increased range, Crossfire HCS with slightly increased range, but slightly decreased stability and handling speed, and then I have Sure Shot HCS which increases range, but decreases stability and handling speed. Then the third column I have, I have Alloy Magazine which increases faster reload speed when the magazine is empty, Flegmad Ball which slightly increases my stability and greatly increases my reload speed, and then we have Light Mag which increases our reload speed and slightly increases our range. Last column we have Moving Target which increases movement speed and target acquisition when moving while ADSing. It also comes with a Handling Masterwork which is useful for increasing the weapon's relatively low draw speed. Now, as you can see, its stats are relatively good for a 110 HC, with its range, aim assist, and reload speed being its most best pros for the weapon, when compared to the other 110 HCs in game. Now, overall, it, to me, it comes out on top, being the top 510 HC to own for that alone. However, it's not fair to completely compare this weapon against other 110 hand cannons which don't have random rolls, so it's always wise to remember that. The perks I have focus on stability, handling and range, which is a great combo for handguns in total, as it will allow me to pull off kills much more easier at short to medium ranges. Longer ranges that are usually outside of the minimum hand cannon range will lose damage and become a lot harder to hit the further away you move. So it's advised to stay within your given necessary range, which should be medium to make full use of your shots. But one thing you want to remember is that 110 hand cannons for their power have high recoil per shot. So doing a follow-up shot after the first initial shot won't always go to the place that you want it to, which for PvP can be a major problem to deal with, as you're going to be going up against a ton of players with different types of weapons and RPMs and damage and etc. You also have to be aware of the flinch that can push your shots away, making it even more harder for you to land your shots with its high recoil pattern attached. So you have to play smart and try to get the first shot in before they do so. Doing so will allow you to free tap them successfully. Not doing so will end up making you lose the gunfight there and then. If I'm playing with the weapon, the recoil net tends to bounce to the right upwards and carry on there unless you resend the weapon after each shot, which sadly you should be doing while staying in and out of cover. And although my current perks do help to a degree with controlling stability, it still bounces very hard against players and certain weapons, so you won't be able to control it all the time. Which is why, alternatively, you can add a counterbalance mod, which I honestly recommend you add, as it helps to control the high recoil of the weapon and make it a lot more easier to follow up your shots there and then. It's also advised to bring a secondary fast firing weapon, such as a SMG or sidearm when players are weak in the crucible from your hand cannon, as, depending on the situation, you can chase them down or let them come to you and finish them off quickly if things don't go the way you want it to. Alternatively, shotguns are also viable as well if you're quick on your feet, and 450 RPM auto rifles are also good for covering all grounds when you need it most. Now, some perks you should look out for when gaining some solid rolls for the weapon are opening shot, quick draw, rampage, zen moment, moving target, kill clip, steady rounds, snapshot, and AP rounds, with ideal mass rolls being based around handling or stability, depending on what the hand cannon needs the most. For scopes, it's best to go with either a fast draw sight for faster handling speed, true sight for a slight increase in range, stability and handling, or hit mark for a slight boost in range, but like I said, this all depends exactly on what rolls you get. The ideal perks you want to have for PvP center gameplay or PvE should consist of either a fast draw sight for faster ADS and speed, opening shots for better accuracy on your first shots, 
select Magwar for faster reload speeds and either Kill Clip or Rampage to push your damage potential from 3 shots to 2 shots once either perks are active. Now you won't be that lucky getting these perks as it's all RNG based, but if you manage to nab one with at least Zen Moment opening shots, Rampage or Kill Clip then this will make the weapon a solid choice to use for whatever content you face as will allow you to land consistent and clean shots as long as your aim is true with a nice damage buff chucked in. Now, I'm still chasing that type of role for PvP, as the skills and perks I currently have are pretty solid and I don't need to rely so heavily on damage boost and perks, but it would be nice. But that type of role will allow you to pretty much dominate any crucible match you're in, as long as you land a headshot, which once you do, practically means endgame for others. I honestly recommend you guys give this weapon a try, as it's very useful for both PvE or PvP with its average smooth stats. And funny enough, this was the one weapon that allowed me to do the Ace of Spades Gambit kill quest within 3 runs because of its perks, but mainly because of its damage alone. Now although it has some bad sides to it where the recoil is a bit of an issue, if you get lucky you should be able to control the recoil with some perks or mods or skills from your armor and such, but if you don't, the recoil the weapon is still bearable, you can use it, just don't expect to always win in most 1v1 fights. The one best thing I could recommend for you to do is make sure you dip in and out of cover to make full use of the weapon, since it fires so slow, and to always make sure that you land at least a headshot, as it only takes one headshot to where you'll be in the win. If you don't land a headshot, then at least follow up through body shots and then finish with a headshot. But don't rush with the weapon, pace your shots, and honestly, you have a very efficient and beautiful weapon to masterwork. So that comes to the end of the weapon review video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.